Hello children. Welcome to our radio learning program for science. This is a continuation of our radio program produced by Rwanda Education Board with the support from UNICEF Rwanda and in partnership with IEE, Inspire, Educate and Empower Rwanda. My name is teacher Gerald and I will be teaching Primary 5 Science. This program is organized so that we can make sure that our children keep on learning, especially during this difficult time of coronavirus. Children, it is an opportunity for you to keep learning as we are waiting for the situation to cool down. Now, our parents, you are part of this wonderful support because of your care of the child and your attention as the learners are learning. Make sure that they do the right thing. Now, children, get your pens and notebooks for taking notes, doing exercises and homework so that you can have where to refer to when doing revision on your own. After that, sit next to the radio, tune it to be loud enough, and be ready to listen to it keenly. Everyone is welcome in this lesson, and be ready to learn with us. And to the parents, I would like you to be part of the child's learning by moving closer to the children and follow up what they are doing and support them where necessary. Thank you. Wonderful children. Now, let us stand up to have a warm-up. I am going to sing the song two times as you listen. Then you will join me as we sing for the third time or the, and the fourth time. I will sing two times as you listen. Then you will join me as we sing for the third time and the fourth time. Ready? Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm great, I am wonderful, I'm good, I'm great, I am wonderful. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm great. I am wonderful. I'm good. I'm great. I am wonderful. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Children, it is your turn to join me. Let us sing. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm great. I am wonderful. I'm good. I'm great. I am wonderful. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? That is good. Now, let us now sit and we pay attention. Can you remember and write down what we learned about in our last lesson? Can you remember and write down what we learned about in our last lesson? Ten seconds. Ten seconds for that. Perfect. In our last lesson, we learned about rainwater and its effects. We learned about rainwater and its effects. Good. Can you again write down some of the effects of rainwater that we learned about? 
Can you again write down some of the effects of rainwater that we learnt about? Another 10 seconds. Wonderful. Some of the effects that we saw are rainwater helps plants to grow. Number two, rainwater cools the earth. Number three, too much rainwater causes floods and landslides. Too much rainwater causes floods and landslides. Number four, too much rainwater causes soil erosion. Too much rainwater causes soil erosion. These are just some of the effects that we learned about. Is that right, children? Great. Our lesson today is water pollutants. Water pollutants. May you write that one on your book. Water pollutants. Now, children, what is water pollution? Try to write that one in your book. What is Water pollution. Mm. Water pollution is the introduction of unwanted things or wastes into the water, making it not fit for human, animals, and plants' use. I repeat, water pollution is the introduction of unwanted things or wastes into the water, making it not fit for human, animals, and plants' use. Do you understand that? Good. Our parents make sure that the children are kept safe by constant washing and sanitizing their hands, keeping one meter dis social distance and staying at home. Get that message, parent and guardian. Welcome back, children. The following are major ways in which water is polluted. The following are major ways in which water is polluted. Number one, human and animal wastes. Eh? Human and animal wastes. Human and animal wastes, such as feces, and urine pollute water. Human and animal waste, such as feces and urine, pollute water. These wastes contain germs. When they are passed in the water, they make the water unsafe for drinking and for domestic use. When they are passed in water, they make the water unsafe for drinking and for domestic use. Number two, floods or the run of water. Floods. Do you know floods? Yes. When it rains much and then the rivers overflow and there is a lot of overflow of water on the ground, we call that one floods. F L Double O D S floods. Now, when it rains, rainwater flows over the soil. This water becomes muddy. It also carries along solid particles such as pieces of paper and dry grass. When such water flows into a water source, the water becomes polluted. When such water moves into the water source, the water becomes polluted. Water pollutant number three, waste from factories. Waste from factories. Factories make products and produce 
waste as well. All the factories that you know, we have tea factories. Here in Rwanda, we have coffee factories. We have some, we have sugar factories. We also have so many. These factories, as they produce products, then there is also a waste that they produce. They come out. If the waste is dumped into water, they pollute it. Water polluted by wastes from factories is unsafe for drinking, domestic use, and farm use. When the waste from the factories or industries are dumped into the water, the water becomes unsafe for drinking, domestic use, and farm use. Do you understand? Good. The pollute number four, oil spillage. Oil spillage. Crude oil is transported across seas and oceans in special ships known as oil tankers. These tankers may accidentally overturn and spill oil into the ocean or sea. Then they pollute the water in the oceans. The last pollutant is farm chemicals. Farm chemicals. Examples of a farm chemical include pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers. The farm chemicals include pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers. Some of these chemicals may dissolve in rainwater and be carried to water sources. Good. Dangers of water pollution. Let us see the dangers of water pollution. Number one, dangers of water pollution for human beings. Polluted water may contain germs and parasites. Polluted water may contain germs and parasites. When people drink the polluted water, they take in the germs or parasites. Then these germs spread waterborne diseases such as cholera and typhoid. Dangers number two. Dangers of water pollution for animals. The first one was for human beings. This one, number two, is for animals. Animals are also taking in germs and parasites when they drink polluted water. Animals are also taking in germs and parasites when they drink polluted water. Danger number three, dangers of water pollution for plants. So you see, we have the first one for human beings. The second one, pollution for animals. Again, the third one now, water pollution for plants. Water that contains excessive fertilizers, pesticides, or herbicides can make plants dry. Do you understand? Very good. Now, if that is the thing, water should not be polluted. Water should not be polluted because it affects plants, it affects human beings, it affects the animals. So we should try very hard as we can to make sure that water is not polluted. Is that correct? Wonderful. Now, children, can you suggest ways to prevent water pollution? Can you suggest ways to prevent water pollution? Take seconds to suggest ways. I know you have so many ways. We are going to see 
a few. That is very, very good. Prevention of water pollution. Write that one down. Prevention of water pollution. Include these in your notes. I know you have taken some. But can you include these ones? Practicing proper hygiene. Practicing proper hygiene. For example, use of toilets, latrines, and urinals. Practicing proper hygiene. For example, use of toilets, latrines, and urinals. Prevention number two, avoid bathing, watering animals, and washing clothes in water sources. Avoid bathing, watering animals, and washing clothes in water sources. You can see that some people get into the sea, into the lake, into the river. Then they keep on swimming there. They are bathing there. They are polluting the water. We are advised to avoid that. Number three, practicing farming methods that reduce soil erosion. Practicing farm, farming methods that reduce soil erosion. Number four, avoid draining of industrial and domestic sewage into water sources. Avoid draining of industrial and domestic sewage into water sources. Number five, dispose of solid waste properly. Dispose of solid waste properly. Do not dump solid waste in water sources. Number six, clearing accidental oil spills. Clearing and cleaning accidental oil spills. When there are some oil spills on the ground, maybe from tankers, we make sure that we clear the ground such that the oil cannot be washed by water into the water sources. Number seven, use farm chemicals such as fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides in controlled amount. Children, fertilizers are very good, especially to our crops. Pesticides are also good as they control pests. The herbicides are also good because they control the herbs that prevent crops to grow well. So they are good. But too much of application is dangerous because they are going to pollute the water that is getting in for the plants and the plants obviously will dry up. Therefore, we have to control the spread of unwanted fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides to control the death of some of the crops. That is good. Children, I hope you have understood everything that we have talked about. Mm, that is great. I hope we will be together in our next lesson. Be ready to continue with us in our next radio lesson. Until that time, bye-bye. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time. Goodbye, 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 teacher.